This is what you can expect. Bro, were you about to just throw my new jacket on the ground? Dude, we're, we're doing the intro? I don't care. It's dirty out here. It's raining. This is brand new. When you're stationed in Stuttgart, Germany. Welcome to Stuttgart, the largest city in the southwestern German state of Baden-Württemberg. Shout out to all my sensitive viewers out there who think I need to learn how to pronounce words correctly before creating an informational video. I mean, come on. Stuttgart is a joint service military community split into five main installations. Robinson Barracks, Kelly Barracks, Stuttgart Army Airfield, Panzer Kasern, and Patch Barracks. As a disclaimer, this video will not be featuring footage of on-base facilities. If you want to learn more about what's on base, check out my Stuttgart cheat sheet or my Stuttgart housing videos for more information. Today we're actually going to look at popular attractions right outside base, food recommendations, and god damn there's a lot of speed traps in this city. For real though, there are speed traps everywhere in Stuttgart. Unlike the US, you'll rarely see somebody getting pulled over for speeding. Instead, they'll take a sneaky picture of you and send it in the mail two months later. I forgot all about this. You've probably noticed that each military installation is pretty spread out. So if you want an idea of where to live in Stuttgart, first download the USAG Stuttgart app and take a look at the different school zones within the area. Okay, for the perfect day in Stuttgart, start your morning off right at Baker Island. This is Joachim and his award-winning bakery, located in the city of Waldestadt, right outside of Stuttgart. Now, if you're a newcomer, I know you're excited about some German pretzels, but if you want the cream of the crop, come check out one of the 1,000 hand-rolled pretzels he makes every single day, or a delicious konditorei, sweet treat, such as his father's incredible cheesecake. Then you gotta make a stop over to Motor World to check out some cool cars, boats, motorcycles, and ooh, a Ferris wheel. Speaking of cars, you can't leave Stuttgart without seeing the Mercedes Museum. Inside, check out over 1,500 exhibits or take a 30 minute drive down to the Porsche Museum where you can pick just about any color under the rainbow and go for a test drive. I was also lucky enough to catch the Stuttgart Spring Fest. This festival goes from April to May, but if you miss this festival, not to worry, you'll quickly learn while living in Germany, there's always a festival right around the corner. Since 1818, Volksfest will go from September to October also known as the Stuttgart Beer Festival, or what Americans traditionally know as Oktoberfest. If you want to learn more about what to expect for a German Oktoberfest, or you want to check out Ludwigsburg for the largest pumpkin festival in the world, only a 34 minute- Bruh, do not drink that water. 34 minute drive from Stuttgart, and check the link in the description. Another fun attraction was the Ritter Sport Chocolate Shop, where you can make your own chocolate or take the free ones they provide you. Thank you. So Ritter Sport was a good time. You should definitely take your kids here, but I was starting to crave for some real food. Now a local spouse actually gave me this recommendation to the Katzenbacherhof. Couple things to note about this restaurant. Number one, it's German. So if you're lucky enough to get stationed here, you can pretty much get any type of food in Stuttgart, but I highly recommend trying out the local food first. Number two, this place is off the beaten path, so come get away from the city life, bring your pets, bring your kids, and enjoy the nature. And the last and most important reason why I came to visit this restaurant... I was not expecting this. Highland cows in Germany? <laughs> So after leaving the cows, I got a text from my buddy saying that we had to visit this Italian spot back in the city of Walderstadt, Germany. You know, I've been living overseas for so long that sometimes I forget the beauty and peacefulness of these small little cities. It's just so charming. And speaking of charming, that's when I met Marco of DeMarco and his family owned little Italian restaurant. So disclaimer, this guy doesn't actually serve full on Italian meals. Instead, he does simple dishes with some of the best Italian products that you'll ever have. But he explains it way better than I can. Welcome my friend. Come in and have a glass of wine with me. <laughs> so my father was from a little town between Rome and Naples. The name is Setze, 2,400 years old. I have friends there and they sent me all my stuff. So I have original stuff, meats and cheeses from the Lazio region. 
Lazio is the region around Rome. We have an awesome olive oil from the same region. The lady who does the olive oil is Lucia Iannotta. She makes uh, also uh, vegetables done cut by hand and done in that olive oil. She has olives from that region. She makes chili marmalade. She makes mosto. Mosto is uh, like a balsamic. It's cooked grape. We have a lot of different pastas. And of course, we have lots of wines from that region. So my wines are mostly from the Lazio region. Uh, the Lazio region is not a known wine region because they don't do a lot of exportation. So the wines I have mostly you can buy only in my shop here in Germany. Well, that was fun. Anybody up for a little adventure? Sadly, the last part of this video is climbing up Birkenkopf, AKA Rubble Hill. But we're gonna make it fun. Follow me. Oh, sh which way? Mm, this way. Definitely want to bring some walking shoes. It's a little bit of a hike. Pro tip, climb this mountain here to save yourself a little extra time. Oh yeah, nice tip. We're moving Good idea. now. Yeah. Shortcut. Pro tip, don't climb this mountain to save yourself extra time. It's way too slippery and way too dangerous. Oh yeah, well that's probably smart. How about this view, this attraction here in Stuttgart? Absolutely gorgeous, highly recommend. Take the walk or better yet, get on a bike and come check this out. I mean, look at this. Well, I hope you guys had fun today. If you're looking for more content on PCS prep, travel, or local life as an American living here in Germany, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next one. Check the number and dial again. This is a recording.